October 19, 1963. He got his, he's already received his 25 year pin, 2011, his 40 year pin, 2011. Where were you all that time? <laughs> <laughs> he just got his 50 year pin tonight. Ralph worked his way through the chairs. Stay and, uh, in, stay warm. Master in uh, 1970. <laughs> You turn 21, puts you up there amongst the short timers, as they say. Anyway, uh, I'd just like to somehow express my appreciation to Northeast Avalanche and uh, what all has taken place here the last 50 years. Uh, it's really been a, uh, an experience for me. Uh, we used to have, have a pretty busy lodge with a months and so forth like that. But those days, I guess, are, are behind us now. But, but there's still a lot of brotherhood around. I mean, of all the lodges on the island, we visit back and forth and, you and are not. share that experience. So are I. Uh, I can think of, of uh, so many people that we've seen come in here and, and change. You know, what masonry does to their lives is sometimes pretty Outstanding as a, you know, in terms of a man in the program. Anyway, I want to thank the officers uh, here now for keeping this lodge going and keeping it alive. I know people like Jimmy uh, have been sitting in the East for multiple years. And, uh, and I know he enjoys doing it, but still, you know, that's the uh, Thinking about this today, it's very I, nice. I was thinking about some of the things that, nice. that have happened that looks good. Uh, while we've been yeah. in this, while I've been in this lodge. And, uh, we've, we've done a lot of things. Right the charity department, yeah. we've, we've done quite a bit. Right uh, we've also uh, oh, yeah. had some time to we celebrate with the fact that Northeast Island Lodge, we had a hundred anniversary here two years ago. Good. Thank you. You're a good girl. And, and, uh, it was a pretty good all around place to visit here in Northeast Alley. What? sort of goes back to he and I for many years. We were boyhood pals growing up, but graduated in the same class in high school and whatnot. And went on, I worked for his grandfather and then we went on after that and worked for him. And uh, we've uh, been through quite a lot in, together in, in our lives. We both built camps on quite a number of bonds and, and just sort of uh, boyhood pals for years and years and years. That's a good one. Uh, anyone that's been a master of this lodge, but not knows that they're only as good oh, as the people that works for them. And I was fortunate when I was master to have a very good reason to be in the college and Ed Walls, Walt Hudson was all officers that worked for me in there every year. We've done some pretty elaborate work, I think. But no, we 
don't show kind of my command uh, the first right. week that, yeah. that uh, we brought in all of our, we brought in lodges and put them together and we knew to run the trees by using using uh, options from other lodges and whatnot. And that, that was over pretty big. We got a lot of attendance by using you know, different ones to run the, run the thing. But uh, mm. other than that, I guess I kind of grew the body you know, and I hope the lodge will continue to function and keep going. And uh, even though with all this modern world, everybody rather watch TV than go to, go to the lodge, think or something, but, uh, but it's that's uh, pretty. Yeah, so. that's very nice. I like Thank that, you don't you?